Today's video is a special request from Shreya who is presumably subscribed to my channel from past couple of months and had posted a comment that got me thinking maybe this is something that would interest most of you who watch my content regularly. So today I just sat down to film it and I have a lot to talk about. Starting with the course that I am currently pursuing here, what's it all about, what are the job opportunities after finishing it and some other programs that might interest you if you ever plan to come here for higher education. So let's get started. So the full name of my course is Master of Engineering in Industry 4.0 a specialization course in automation robotics and 3D manufacturing offered by the SRH Hochschule Berlin or SRH Berlin University of Applied Sciences. Now SRH campus is newly opened in Berlin. Zone and Alley to be specific where I study. The old campus was somewhere near Ernst Platz, which is also in Berlin but they shifted everything to this new campus in the month of October 2024 which is the winter intake, the intake in which I came to Germany for my studies. So everything has been new to me, at least the furniture, people and the campus itself. Even though there are some management problems, which they are working on, I believe everything else has been good so far. Now, this is a four semesters, meaning two years program, fully English taught. And if you know zero German or if you know some German, you can actually come here, opt for elective, I mean extracurricular subjects and study your German alongside with your degree, bachelor's or master's that you came here for. And cherry on top, there's no additional charges for it. It's included in the fees that you have already paid for the course. Now, why I chose this course? Well, it not only stood out among many other public universities or private which offered similar courses, but this course has such a diverse curriculum, meaning it not only gives you the knowledge that you need for uh, making you industry ready, but it also offers you this uh, industrial training, meaning the Siemens level one to level three certificate course. So by the end of your program, you will not only have your master's degree, but also three certificates by Siemens. If hopefully we all complete, then that could also be an achievement for us. I am also inspired by the Transformers movies, actually, ever since I was a child. And I have also been collecting action figures, those transforming figures from one form to another. I guess I have maybe more than 75, I lost the count. But yeah, that is what helps me keep going further and dive deep into this uh, niche. At least for my diploma to bachelor's and now my master's, it's only possible because I am interested in something. Hopefully you might be as well and you know what you want in your life. So yeah, now let's talk about some subjects. In the previous semester, we had uh, several subjects, some of which I would like to name, starting with the material science. Then we had uh, basic electrical and electronics engineering. Then there was CAD design plus design systems subject related to modeling, CAD modeling. Uh, then I believe there was also data analysis and programming uh, language subject in which I wouldn't say it was actually programming. What we learned was more of a statistical analysis. R, R studio. I don't know if you are aware of it, but yeah, that was it. Then there was sustainable technology management subject, somewhat related to management, not particularly engineering, but yeah, you should be aware of it. Definitely if you go for work. And lastly, project lab which not only offered us hands-on training, but which I mentioned you previously, the course offered by uh, Siemens certificate course, the project lab included this training from level one to level three. Now we didn't have everything in the first semester. There are three levels of this course and we have four semesters considering it's a two year program. So every th uh, semester, like from the first, 
till the third semester we will have level one two and three and the last semester i believe is more about internship and thesis so that's how it is for now we completed the level one i do have the certificate as well which i shared on my linkedin if you connect connected with me you must have seen it but yeah uh, now we are going to attempt the level two and that's how it is pretty much for the course i might as well link uh, the official website of my course uh, in the description below if you are interested feel free to check out for yourselves and there's a lot of information in case I missed anything uh, in this video you can check that later on talking about the hands-on work uh, we do have some practical lab work there are uh, group projects even company based case studies and not to mention the conferences events and the industrial trade fairs that are taking place consistently last month if you remember I posted a video about uh, Automatica 2025 in Munich I I also mentioned that it was completely sponsored or half sponsored by uh, the university so feel free to check that uh, I might link it above if you missed it okay so now let's talk about some future jobs and opportunities here in Germany as well as outside Upon graduation, I myself would have these options if you are planning to pursue somewhat similar course or if you are in my place, then hear me out. These are some of the career options that you might consider as well as look into afterwards. So roles like automation engineer, robotics engineer, production process engineer, smart factory consultants and R&D specialists are some of the common roles that you can aim for after you finish your degree. And large MNCs that offer these roles are Siemens, Bosch, ABB, several other German companies, needless to mention, but also startups. Now, uh, the thing is, last month when I visited Automatica 2025, as well as Hanover Messe a couple of months back, I spoke to several people there and what I noticed is there are a lot of startups recently that have been... Uh, focusing on the upcoming trends uh, related to artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, humanoids and all the uh, things that can possibly come into our world in the next five years or maybe less as we speak of it. So you can always reach out to these people as there are a lot of opportunities there to grow yourself and get new experiences then to join a company which has already succeeded and has been succeeding from past couple of years or maybe decades so that's my opinion at least you can just go with what fits the best for you or what actually is available at the moment it's a lot easier or better to have some position than have nothing at all so yeah also, you can work outside EU if you think Germany isn't the right fit for you or if you somewhat struggle to learn the language, maybe you can work outside EU and that would work as well. Also, you might already be aware of this. You can work 20 hours a week in Germany as a student part time, which is I think four hours a, a week, maybe five days. That is already the case right now. If you come as a student here, you can anyways do that. But what I'm trying to say is after you finish your education, that's the part where most of the people struggle. Germany offers you 18 month or I would say a 18 month job seeker visa after you finish your education. So you have that time frame to find a stable job or at least be able to fund yourself until you find one. So that's how everything is currently. If Industry 4.0 isn't your thing, here are other top programs that I've seen people doing that are currently in demand here in Germany. Artificial Intelligence and Data Science is for those who are interested in machine learning, computer vision and other similar subjects that fall under this niche. Embedded Systems is popular among electronics and mechatronics grads like me. Mechanical engineering, automotive engineering has Germany's 
strongest industry or market i would say and has seen consistent growth over the years renewable energy sustainable technology are growing rapidly with the help of government's support so these uh, courses are also what you should look into and lastly cyber security which is high paying and high on demand as always after living in germany for all these times i can confidently tell some of the important things that you should know before coming here regarding living and studying in germany so first of all the language barrier which most of you are concerned about let me tell you most of the programs here are offered in english especially considering it's an international crowd and most of the companies or i would say at least some of the companies do hire english speakers the probability of that is less but they do and the truth is if you know german or learning german language itself would help you a lot with jobs as well as integration with your life overall in case if you stick here for the long run cost of living now cost of living i have already discussed this previously it depends on which city you live in whether it's a big city or a small town the cost varies but now for me in berlin here i think i would say 800 to 1000 euros is the bare minimum that's required monthly to survive maybe that's more <laughs> some people do manage in less cost as well but i think the cost of living is completely different for each one of us so i wouldn't stress out much on that it completely depends on your city the rent your lifestyle and blah 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 scholarships now scholarships and jobs i think germany do offers some scholarships i mean some universities do offer scholarships also students who have jobs or uh working students i would say that's quite common here so once you start with your studies i think you will get used to all this it's not so complicated trust me lastly networking i i believe networking is the key attend job fairs career events connect with people on linkedin and try to be as much as social as possible because that is the only way to succeed feel free to leave your thoughts below in the comments if you have any unanswered questions queries or anything at all just write them and i would be more than happy to assist you just like shreya did and who knows your comments might be one of my next videos thank you for watching hit that like button subscribe the channel if you haven't and i'll see you in my next one Thank you. Bye-bye.